Hello there, everyone. I have returned. Um, I've been dead for about four months. So, that was something. Um, but I'm back now, and we are starting off strong with a collab. And um, today we're collabing with none other than Stromboli Dude, aka Alex, and I'm very excited about this one. The whole idea behind this, Alex came up with this idea, um, is to draw, we drew each other bases for artworks or characters, um, and we sent them to each other to do basically each other's uh, base. And so the whole idea behind this is basically I drew a base and did my own artwork on top of it and then sent it to him, uh, sent the base to him for him to do his own artwork on top of that and he did the same for me. And so what you're going to be seeing in this video is um, the artwork that I create on top of the base that I was sent by Alex and then I'll reveal uh, basically what he did with his own base. I've not seen it yet and so you're going to get kind of my live reaction. And then I highly recommend you go check out his video um, right after this one because he's going to be showing you guys what I did with my base and also you'll get to see what he does with, with the one that I sent him. Um, it, it was a whole lot of fun. I had a great time and I'm very excited for you guys to see the results of this. And yeah, without further ado, I think we should just go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you're watching right now is me uh, drawing the base that I ended up sending to Alex. And so I wanted to show you guys just to kind of, so just so you have a little bit of a reference to go off of to kind of uh, my design process behind the one that I sent him when you end up going to watch his video. Um, and it took me a couple of tries to kind of get what I wanted out of it. Um, and the reasoning behind that is because I wanted to give him a little bit of a challenge um, designing the character around this base um, with a little bit of perspective or some sort of dynamic pose uh, because his bases tend to be a lot more simplistic um, and a little bit more difficult to actually uh, design a character around if you don't have a, uh, if you don't already have something in mind um, which I did not because obviously I was going into the, his base blind so I had no idea what to do um, and so I wanted to return the favor by giving him something of a challenge, um, to work with. And so this is the kind of design that I ended up coming up with. I really like it and I'm excited for you guys to see what he did because I have seen his version of this and it looks really, really sick. So I recommend going to check his video out after mine. Okay. So now I want to show you guys what, uh, what Alex sent for me to use and um, I'll put it up on screen right now. I really, really like it. It's very simple. It's very simple, um, but I, I really like the pose. And um, yeah, I, I, I had a lot of fun designing uh, my drawing around it. I think it was, I think it was um, a necessary kind of challenge, I guess, for me, um, because now that I'm used to doing very complex bases like you saw before, um, I, I really think it was a good a uh, little exercise for me to go back to the simplistic stuff and be able to um, kind of uh, fill a character into this sort of base. Without without spending too much time, I think we should just go ahead and uh, show you what I did with his base. And then we'll get to see, finally, what he did for it himself. I'm really excited. All right, so before before I started working on this, um, Alex was talking about how the character or the base that he uh, drew was uh, very almost disproportionately lanky and that got me thinking well what if this wasn't a person um, Alex was dis was talking about how his was a person and again I still haven't seen it um, but he made um, allusions to uh, the idea that it was a person um, but the the whole idea of it being very lanky made me consider what if it what if it was some sort of alien and so i i had this old alien design um kind of sitting around and i decided to use it here um because the alien design that i had was very tall and skinny and lanky and so i decided to uh, that's what i decided to go with um and i think it worked really well um uh, one thing that I do wish I had done better on this was the line thickness. I don't think the 
Um, and I think the lines are too thick and uh, that kind of detracts from the look of it a little bit. Um, but overall, I, I really like the whole overall design. And um, you'll see in a minute uh, my color choice. It was It's very green. I feel like I could have added some sort of contrast, uh, contrasting something in there. Um, but overall, I do like the design and I like, uh, I like the base that I was given because um, I don't normally work with characters with guns a lot. And so it was, a, it was an interesting uh, sort of challenge for, uh, for me to um, look at uh, or to, to try and draw this character with a gun. Um, and that was, yeah, that was a really unique, um, really unique kind of challenge for me. Um, I decided to go with a sort of simplistic lighting as well for this. Um, I just kind of airbrushed in a little bit and then, um, and then did, uh, some blocky lighting, but overall I really like how it turned out and I hope you guys do too. So I have um, my my mine and Alex's messages pulled up right now, and we texted each other the um, the pictures of our um, of our designs of our drawings of each other's um, or of our own base. Um, and so th this is mine up here. You'll have to go check out his video to see mine. Um, but this is his here. Um, oh, I just revealed a little bit. I think. Oh man. Okay, so I haven't seen it yet. I'm really excited. Um, and so, yeah, we sent it with the invisible ink. 2,000 years later. Let's just go ahead and reveal it for the first time, I guess. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Let me just reveal the whole thing. Oh, yes. Oh, I love that. Okay, get out of the way, little sparkly dust. Oh, dude, that looks so cool. I love that it's, 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 it keeps revealing itself or keeps uh, not revealing itself or concealing itself. Oh, I love that. The whole like, um, you know what? I'll just save it and put it up on screen later um, in post. That looks so cool. I love the, um, I love the like gas mask. that looks like a skull. The whole like armor details. I love the double barrel shotgun. That looks really cool. Um, and then like, dude, he looks so like, Alex was talking about him looking like a Fortnite character. Um, and I didn't really know what to, what to think about that, uh, when he was saying that, but, um, I mean, I could definitely see something like this being in Fortnite, but honestly, like, I, I think it looks way cooler than anything Fortnite would make. It looks so cool. Dude, great job. Um, I know he'll be watching this video. Uh, you did a great job, man. I really, really like that design. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to see uh, what you think of mine. Um, yeah, this is gonna be great. Overall, I really, really enjoyed this uh, this little challenge that Alex came up with. I think it was I think it was a lot of fun, and I think it was really cool to see kind of how we interpreted each other's bases. And again, you're gonna have to go check out his video now to see what I did for my base and see him compare uh, his um, to uh, to the one that I made. Um, yeah, it was a whole lot of fun, and thank you, Alex, for uh, inviting me to do this with you. It was a lot of fun, and I had a great time. Um, yeah, it was great, and hopefully there are going to be more videos to come in this new year. Um, but with that, I'm going to be out of here. So, uh, happy new year, everybody. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. A dislike if you didn't, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.